สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I am sharing with you another street fast food you can find all over Thailand. It's something called Gui Tiao k u a g a i Gui Tiao is noodles. k u a means to sort of toss something in a frying pan or a wok, and g a i is chicken. So if you're familiar with p a t Si Yu, a famous noodle dish, this is what I like to call the lighter sister of p a t Si Yu, and it always comes with chicken. Unlike p a t Si Yu, where you can have it with Any protein, really, but it's super easy and so delicious. Let's get started. So we're gonna marinate this chicken, and because this noodle dish is very simple, it's essentially just noodle and chicken. The chicken's gotta be quite flavorful, so we're gonna, you know, give it a little love. So I've got some chicken breast, which is more common than chicken thigh, but you can do thigh if you want. I'm adding some golden mountain sauce, which is a type of soy sauce with a little bit of a richer, more intense flavor. You can just do soy sauce, and also a little bit of sugar, a little salty, a little sweet, a dash of white pepper. Also, I'm gonna add a, just a splash of water, and this water, as it marinates, it'll get absorbed into the chicken. Basically, we're giving it a quick brine, and it'll become more moist because this is chicken breast, so it does dry out pretty easily. Now we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes. You can do this the day before if you want. So for the noodles, I'm using Ho Fun noodles or the fresh wide rice noodles. I got these. Fresh as a big sheet, but they also sell them pre-cut. They also sell them dried, and then you have to boil them. If you're getting fresh, it's best to use them the day you get them while they're soft and pliable. But if you need to store them sort of for a few days, check out my Patsy u video. I talk about how to properly store them so it's easy to use. Okay, so I've got some of that, and then other than that, it's super super simple. Some soy sauce, some fish sauce, an egg. And also, this is completely optional. This is tang chai or salted preserved cabbage. It's a Chinese ingredient, but we use it in Thailand as well. And it comes in a cute little tub like this, and it just adds sort of salty, crunchy bits. So you know, if you can think of it, sort of like adding bacon bits to your food, little salty, crunchy, munchy things. And that's it. We are ready to cook. So as always, I'm going to cook the chicken first and separately, so that way I can control the doneness of the chicken. Then they're not overcooked. Go in with the chicken. Let them sear on one side. Give it a little chance to brown. Okay, once it's browned on one side, just give it a toss and let it cook until it's done. Now, even though this is called kuei tiao kuo gai, which means chicken, some people also add shrimp. And in fact, traditionally, they also add this sort of a preserved squid, which I really don't like. And conveniently, I can't find it here, so I didn't add it. But in Thailand, when you order it, it'll always have little pieces of preserved squid, which to me is a little bit of a weird texture that I don't like. Take out the chicken, let them rest. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil. Okay, so the recipe that I'm gonna give you in the written portion, I'm gonna give you the amounts for two servings. But just like Patsy, I recommend just making one serving at a time because for this one, we also want to toast the noodles, get the noodles a little bit charred. And if you have too much noodles in the wok, that's hard to get. So I just split all my ingredients into two, and I'm gonna go in with an egg. Let it set a little bit before you start scrambling. Now you scramble. When it's sort of half done, you go in with the noodles. Whoa! Give it a toss. The sauce, so soy sauce. A splash of fish sauce. Super simple. Again, this is the light sister of Patsy Yu, and some sugar to cut all that salt, and my uh, tang chai. And give it a toss, just to get all the sauce mixed up and evenly distributed. And once the noodles are evenly mixed, let it sit, let it hang out. We're now trying to toast the noodles. Okay, get that charred wok flavor. Oh, while it's doing that, I'm gonna add a splash of white pepper. I like a lot of white pepper, especially for this when there's usually not any chilies. We usually don't make this spicy, so a little heat from the white pepper. It's nice. Okay, I'm gonna give it a toss. There you go. So now some of the noodles a bit toasted. Now it's not gonna be as dark as p a t s i y u okay? Because we didn't put any 
dark soy sauce in, there's less sort of overall amount of sugar in it. So it's going to toast a little lighter than patsiyu. Don't worry, it's fine. As long, ooh, as long as you get some toasting going. There you go. So think of this sort of like toast, toast color. And then add my chicken back in. And I'm not gonna throw in any extra liquid that's been collecting while the chicken was sitting because I don't want the noodles to become soggy. So I'm gonna turn this off. And you see how my wok is getting a little bit burny on this side? That actually adds a nice smoky flavor that's really typical of street food in Thailand. Some green onions to finish it off. A little bit of a, an oniony flavor, because remember we didn't add any garlic or onion at all. So just a little touch of herbs in the end. And that's it! Would you believe it? That's done! That's kwetiao kuokai! Now when you plate it, it always comes with green leaf lettuce on the bottom. And so as you can see, there's no vegetables in the noodle itself. So this always comes with it so you can sort of munch on it as a palate cleanser between bites. So get this, get your plate ready with the lettuce and in goes the noodles. Ooh, classic, classic condiment for this is siracha hot sauce. Well, it doesn't have to be siracha brand, but siracha style. It's sour, it's spicy. It just works well with the saltiness and the heaviness of the noodles. Now you don't have to have it with siracha. I'm just telling you that that's sort of the classic way to have it. Sometimes it depends on my mood. Sometimes I put it on, sometimes I don't. A little bit of the hot sauce, a little bit of the noodles, chicken, God, it is so satisfying. It's, it's got simple flavors, yet the balance of the saltiness and the little bit of sweetness and the chewiness of the noodles just work together so well. And the charredness of the noodles, that toastiness, that's the thing that brings up the complexity of the dish. So make sure you work really hard to get those toasty bits, all right? So when you make this, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and I'll include a sample of them in my monthly newsletter. And the recipe, as always, is on HapTaiKitchen.com. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, right here, subscribe, and I will see you next time for your next delicious time meal.